Anyway, here's the undeniable proof that the only, quote, evidence that a distant object is a refracted mirage instead of the real thing depends entirely on knowing whether or not we should be able to see that object at that distance on a ball Earth. My proof comes in the form of this photograph, although any photograph of a distant object will do, and it comes in the form of a challenge. I posit that nobody on God's flat earth can determine via the scientific method whether this distant mountain is real or a mirage without first knowing the eye height and distance of the observer. Now, since I know in advance that my challenge will not be accepted, let alone satisfied, all you ball earthers who cry refraction every time we show something that should be hidden behind curvature need to accept the undeniable fact that your claims of refraction and miraging depend entirely on whether or not we should be able to see that distant object and nothing else whatsoever. We will accept your inability to satisfy my challenge as acknowledgement of this fact and will regard any and all past and future appeals to refraction as the completely unsubstantiated rescuing devices that they've always been. In short, don't claim refraction or miraging if your only evidence for it is that we're seeing something that we shouldn't be able to see on a ball earth. It only serves to make your case appear weak and pathetic. Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman, and that was Mike Boll setting out his Mirage Challenge. Mike will be joining me at 8pm EDT, or 0 hundred hours UTC, to discuss his challenge and this image. You'll find a link to the Hangout posted in the description area below, and in the first pinned comment. Thank you for watching.